right, so we're gonna head out for a bike ride. I'm gonna take you guys with me. And yeah, here we go. New sunglasses. And welcome to the video. So this is gonna be a voiceover video and I'm gonna just show you around my area. So here we are heading from the farm down towards the water, the ocean, the Oslo Fjord. Um, the video is in double speed, obviously I'm not going that fast, but I am going pretty fast down this hill. Cruising, comfortable temperature, summer is here, just enjoying some vibes on my bike. And as I said, we're heading down towards the ocean. So the town at the bottom of this um, road is uh, Vol. And uh, that's basically the town where my mom had a shop for many years. It's a very nice little, it's not even really a town. There you can see my mom had her shop on the right side there. And yeah, it's a little place, nice to hang out there sometimes. And yeah, here we are a little further into the ride, cruising through the exploding uh, nature. Everything is just coming out now. If you look at the bus stop at the right side here, that's the bus stop I used to stand at when I took my school bus to high school every day. Um, yeah, as I said, spring is just such a, and this is late spring, early summer, everything is exploding into life. And all the leaves are so fresh and it's just, this is just a perfect day in my opinion. Here I am just riding a little bit in the road, sometimes I do that. If it's difficult to ride on the sidewalk, but usually I just stay on the sidewalk. I'm not looking to hit it really hard on the bike, I'm just looking to cruise get some extra volume. I usually run of course and this is just a supplemental type of training. Some cross training, just adding in a little bit of extra volume in the form of cycling. And, uh, my bike is a Canyon Endurace Aluminium 5.0. Here we are coming down to the harbor. This is one of my favorite places in the world. Just riding along here looking at the boats, smelling the ocean, always good vibes here. And this is a place where I usually do some workouts because it's pretty flat. So as a runner, I often run workouts there. I have a two kilometer stretch that goes along the, the harbor there and continues here where we are now. And uh, eventually finishes up right here at the end at the sign there on the right. That's the, that's the 2K mark. Uh, so that's a good place to do running workouts. Speaking of which, uh, Oslo Marathon, back in the day when my dad had run Oslo Marathon many times, and back in the day it actually used to go all the way from Oslo out here, and there was a turnaround point, and at the turnaround, turnaround point there's now a little statue. You can't really see it from the road. I'll let you know it comes up on the right side now. <laughs> that's it. So that, that was a turnaround point. So half half a marathon and then they were heading back towards Oslo which is about yeah 21 kilometers from here uh, that would have taken a right turn though if I wanted to head to Oslo uh, I took a left turn as you could see there passing by this little mall and uh, heading back up towards Oskid which is my you know the 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 biggest town in my area the central hub of my uh, region uh, or yeah, anyway, going up, going up. And so this is the beginning of a, of, a, of a climb and lots of good memories. I had a good friend lived, uh, he used to, he grew up around here and we used to hang out here uh, a lot. So I like this, this area, it has a good, good memories. Um, and it's just generally Norway, it's just, I realized after traveling so much how much I love Norway, especially on days like these when I can just ride through neighborhoods and just enjoy the fresh air and the views. Speaking of which, look at this view. 
This is just one of the most epic views ever. That big hill there is the is the highest one of the highest points in the area. It's not that high. I think it's just 300 meters or something. But the views are pretty epic. And on the right now you'll see a horse. I slowed it down to normal speed just so you can see the horse. Um, look at it. On the right side now there's a horse uh, sort of rolling around. <laughs> and there it is back up again on its feet. Pretty cool. Um, back to double speed. Some more horses. And um, yeah, through a neighborhood here. Some uh, speed bumps. And then it goes up. And the next section here is, is a pretty steep section. So that's a place where it goes pretty slow. So I've actually slowed it down to normal speed again now. So you can see how slow it is. So I'm really working there. Not, not really working, but I mean, I'm, I'm breathing a little heavier. This footage is actually from another ride, but in the exact same spot. So you can see I'm breathing and it was a bit of a hotter day. So I have my jersey open, just cruising. Top of the hill and we're back in double speed. Video is almost finished. I guess your attention span is getting close to finish as well. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this type of video because I can talk about lots of random stuff while you watch the road, if you want to. Um, yeah, we're closing in on the town, and just just an epic day. Really been enjoying the bike lately as a, as a training tool as I'm easing back into running. Thanks for watching, hope you're having an awesome day. Subscribe and stay tuned for more. See ya!